Hello everyone and welcome to No Scope New York. Today we are going to talk about a couple of developments which happened uh, this week at my channel today. Uh, let me know if you guys like my previous video. Uh, link is there in the description. Please do go watch it. Guys, uh, to start with, we have some news from the Motorola's upcoming event. Uh, they have hinted that they are going to launch a Moto Razor, like a uh, Moto Razor is going to come back again into the market. They have specifically they are mentioning the reinvented icon, and uh, we have this GIF from the Motorola source that actually depicts unwrapping of the original Moto Razor into a new one that's what it seems like uh, the date they say is going to be 13th of november the specifications that the phone will cost around 1500 dollars it will the screen will measure the phone will measure around 6.2 inches will be having a snapdragon 710 processor uh, will come in white black and gold and have a 2700 mh battery force or 6 gb of ram and respectively 64 or 128 gb of storage so this phone is really a good addition to the to the overall mobile cell phone market i believe because the mobile phone market literally has all uh, bar shaped phones clamshell devices and foldable devices which are coming up like this are really going to spice up the market and i personally look forward to it because this is something new and unless any company starts doing something new a new trend won't be picked up by the major oem manufacturers like apple so a similar move has been done by Samsung as well for by their Galaxy Fold design they redesigned it and launched it again which is very good although this phone is very fragile but I feel that it's a step in the right direction on of introducing new kinds of devices in the market in the other news guys moving on to our next story most of you know that Intel is trying to come up with their own GPUs their own GPUs branded Intel uh, graphics X E uh, could get launched by the early by summer of next year I suppose so uh, some the article says that sources close to DG times that Intel might launch their 10 nanometer graphics card named XE very soon although the article this particular article suggests that uh, they might be looking at a duration between June to August but I suppose that uh, news they derived was from one of the tweets shared by uh, Raja Kondori the senior vice president at intel that uh, the uh, wait i'll show you the tweet this is the tweet guys the tweet says june california think xe uh, but the number plate i suppose and this tweet is from october 3rd so uh, it's not the latest news but uh, i suppose uh, you are required in california to mention the uh, date or year of the number plate i'm not sure let me know down in the comments if it is like that uh, this is what hinted towards the news of intel xe graphics uh, moving on to the next news uh, guys uh, it's about net retire net neutrality uh, I am very positive about net neutrality, but the news which has come up is both positive and negative as well. It says that Ajit Pai, who is the chief of FCC, uh, the court recently backed much of the Ajit Pai's attempts of repealing net neutrality, especially in the states of California and Washington. But the court also shot down Ajit Pai's attempt to ban states from protecting net neutrality themselves, pointing out that when the FCC obliterated its title to authority over broadband providers at lobby's behest, it also eliminated any potential right to tell states what they can do or they, what they can't. So 
guys from the california and washington they have uh, some sources where they can actually go and post their uh, uh, thoughts and opinions about our complaint on net neutrality there is a general consumer complaint forum uh, which you can go and uh, do complaint about uh, going to the next news uh, guys intel has given some clarifications on the 10th nanometer desktop CPUs. Earlier, uh, it had come to the news that Intel is going to scrap their 10 nanometer desktop G CPUs, but then they later published an update on 15th that uh, it is still part of their roadmap and they are going to come up with the 10 nanometer desktop CPUs. Uh, likely in 2021 but then again guys this means that two more years before intel actually makes a node shift which means that amd will still have the edge for next two years so next two years intel is going to bleed a lot of money and and yes intel has also said that they are ready for that they have lined up up to three billion dollars to check my previous video on that particular news which i had shared and uh, they do have a strong war chest for this competition coming to other news guys uh, the new amd ryzen threadripper 3990X is confirmed. AMD is planning three SKUs, 3960X, 3970X, and 3990X. The first of the two will be unveiled on November 5th. But of course, there will be an embargo on sales and reviews and things like that. Of course, uh, the reviewers, the big YouTubers and reviewers on uh, YouTube will receive the CPUs early and they will be uh, posting the reviews post the embargo. So uh, these are the launch date guys. I'll be posting more information on this particular SKU as the news unfolds. And another news guys from Puget Systems, actually uh, these PC integrators in the United States and uh, they also perform some research doing tests, a lot of back to back tests, building PCs, many different things these guys do. So these guys uh, were testing the light adobe lightroom classic and what they found out was that the hyper threading the intel hyper threading or the simultaneous multi threading from amd is actually slowing down the performance of adobe lightroom uh, when they switch it off it actually performs better that's what the article says so uh, it says that uh, doing this does not improve any performance of the CPU. However, we are going to clearly mark in the charts when the result are HMT or HT or SMT off. Sorry, HT, SMT, HMT. Uh, sorry. In addition, we'll have a separate table in the benchmark results. So, um, yeah, here is the big benchmark. You guys, I'll post the link down in the description. You guys can go through this particular benchmark result and see for yourself what the particular development is all about. Right. So they also mentioned that Intel is aware of this particular development and they are working together with Adobe to bring up a solution via a software or a BIOS update. I am not sure. In another news, guys, there is a massive news from Samsung uh, which says that anyone can thumb, anyone's thumbprint can unlock a Samsung Galaxy S10 phone. So how this news unfolded was there was there's a lady in the UK who actually was using tempered glass or a tempered screen over the original screen which is you know which is a very which is a very common practice throughout the world uh, to protect the screen from scratches some screen protectors right so what happened is what after placing the screen protector she unlocked she was able to unlock the 
phone by using any of her fingers even she used uh, fingers of her husband and it unlocked the phone so samsung is also aware of this particular incident and they are going to uh, give a softer patch as soon as soon as possible meanwhile uh, south korea's only online bank kako bank told customer to switch off their fingerprint recognition option to log into its services until the issue was fixed Okay in last but not the least the requirements for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Orders has come earlier electronic hearts had uh, put up the been recommended requirements at 32 GB of RAM which is now being updated to 16 GB so 32 GB is actually a lot uh, but now 16 gb they are saying so let's see how the actual performance will be once the actual review comes up after the launch so we can see that uh, the recommended uh, hardware settings are ryzen 7 1700 or equivalent or intel 6700k or equivalent whereas the memory is 32 now 16 they say 16 gb uh, vega 56 and gtx 1070 so what i believe they are trying to target a resolution of 1080p generally recommended requirements are 1080p 60 fps but as it looks to me i think this can pull off 1440p at uh, 60 fps with a little tweak king of the settings as well settings like turning off the motion blur and all that so i think this will be a good development guys Guys that's that's all for today do like and subscribe my channel no scope neon for more tech updates like this do check out my previous videos and my uh, game replays on my channel do like and subscribe